Hello there, mortals. Welcome back to another episode of Monster Sanctuary. If you guys missed the first episode, you can have a look at it right here. The link is on the top right. And those of you who are new to the channel, welcome. Do subscribe and ring that bell notification. If you like this video, give a thumbs up. It helps the video a lot and my channel. And you can also follow me on my social media platforms here. Thank you. And let's get on with the gameplay. So in the previous episode, we got the mountain path key and we're going to make our way there now and see what other interesting explorations that we can find. Let me see. Uh, that looks like spikes. Doesn't look like we can walk there. How do we get in here? Activate fire orbs. Hmm. None of that. Let's open this. Got 100 G's. Let's fight these guys. Start combat. Flash. Hmm. Let's kill this guy first. Show up. Nice. Didn't do anything. Ooh, crit. Nice. Die. Show up. Oh. Those didn't even scratch me at all. Ooh, nice crit. Nice. Four stars? Nice. Katzerker egg again. Oh, we got a, a belt. What does that do? Crit damage plus 10 defense. Let's go for this. Uh, wait. Does this guy have health? Mana, crit, he doesn't need crit, he needs more defense. Okay, let's move on. Oh shit, went a bit too fast. Couldn't see what is that. Let me get up there. Uh, where was this rock guy? Come here. Oh, yeah. Nope. No. That didn't work. Can we step on this? No. No. We can't get up there. What's this? Is that the fire orb thing? Activates fire orb. Oh, okay. Yes. Pandora's box. Defense plus two. Receive a random buff at the start of combat. The monster can still receive another instance of that buff normally. Oh, that's quite interesting. This is. That looks like water. Activate water orbs. Kill potion. Can't get through there. Uh, let's, uh, let's put it back to this guy. It has some sort of activation. Let me see. Pandora's box. Defense 12, right? Wizard's hat. Magic plus 10. Uh, 
what should we put here? Random buff. What do you think it might be? I'm not sure. Is this magic better? Magic. Let's let's just try it. Let's see what happens. So we need to go this way. Go back up. Back up. Ouch. Fight these bugs. And we can level up. Oh, we got a attack buff. Looks like it. Is it? Physical damage deal twenty percent more damage. Oh, it's quite. It's not bad actually. So how are you guys enjoying this game? Do you think it's cool? I quite like it. I like the art style. Uh, I like the fact that it's turn-based. Um, that you get to tame monsters. Big plus for me. Um, yeah. I like these kind of games. And on top of that, it's a Pixar art game. I love Pixar art. Nice. Done deal. Blue antidote. Oh, we gotta level up. Let's check out the skills. So, we got our slash up already. This is normal claw. Air sickle. Maybe we should get try this. Should help help a bit. Apply sidekick buff. What was that? Each attack triggers an additional 40% damage hit. To a random monster? That's not good. That's not good at all. Increase 2%. Increase deals 2% increased damage for every buff on this monster. Heroism. Hmm. Oh, his 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 that buff is not that great. Uh, have we gone here? No, we haven't. It's party. All right. Looks like they're holding on to one of our things there. Crit, come on, nice, nice, nice. One down. Spell shield to dodge magical hits. Oh wow, that's, that's good. I like that. We're good. No problem. We are good. Nice. Shield up. It's like our our shield supporter. Crit. Nice. Sweet. I think we should get four stars. Nice. Berry. Let's see what's this? Walnut. So we got ourselves a berry. I think we can feed him. 6% more crit. Uh, let's see status. Crit chance. 20%. So... Crit damage plus... Oh, this is crit damage. Okay, let, uh, let's see the skill here again. Applies critical hits. 
Okay, it's crit damage. Okay, okay. So we, um, all right, right. Let, let me show you. So basically, he has twenty percent crit chance, right? So now we're gonna eat some crit food. So you can add three crit food for him. And let's see what that happens. How come it didn't change the? Oh, oh, it's crit damage, not crit shit. Okay, never mind. It's still good for him. What? Let's see what's over here first. Let's fight these guys. Start combat. Bam! Come on, why didn't you crit for me? Show up. I wonder what buff is that we got there. Let's have a look. Hold on. Punch combo. Yep, didn't even penetrate us. Sidekick. Each attack triggers an additional 40% damage hit. Oh, okay. That's what that does. Swag this guy here. Nice. Crit. Kill him. And we'll use this guy to whack this sidekick there. Look at that. Very good. Die. And that sidekick hit right there. Nice. again another level up mm -mm -mm -mm. go for the crit there all right let's move on shit I didn't get to see what it was was it a weapon I think it's this accessory go to that mountain path open up that key it's right here all right what's that oh it's him the monk let's battle let's see what do we get glory increase critical chance by 10% critical damage by 20% so the champion has increased health, attack, and mana regeneration, and can act multiple times per turn. Ooh! Wow, his health is high. He's weak against... I'm not sure what's that, wind? Let's attack him with a slash. Let's ignite him. Give him that buff. Shields up. Let's see. Oh, we're good. Oh, he did penetrate a bit, but we're okay. Crit, nice. Claw him. Shield up. We're doing good. Oh, he just healed himself. Fiery Punch, level 2. That, that, that claw didn't even do anything. But he's halfway down, and we're halfway up in our shields too. <laughs> Thank you. 
Um, this claw seems to do more damage. Uh, earth. Oh, okay, he's weak to earth, right? Okay, is that earth? Yeah, I think it is. Shield up. I think the cat. Does this cat have an, uh, another dot, like a poison or something? Then we can deal more DPS damage per second, right? I like this game. Yeah, definitely. Awesome. You guys should check it out. It's really nice. Initially, I thought I wanted to do a mini series, but I think this is good. Yeah, we're gonna play through this whole game, guys. Expect a full episode, full cover of this game. Nice, there we go. Got him. Three stars. Nice. We gotta level up for this guy, too. Apply shield to party when an enemy receives burn debuff. Damage equal to 4%. Plus this, that's neutral. No, we just go for this. I think we're good. Is there a chest first? Yep. Sustain ring. Healing skills. Active and passive increase. That's where we came from. We, I mean, we tried to get that, but we couldn't, right? So let's backtrack now. Looks like... Okay. We went here already, right? Yeah, we did. Now we need to backtrack. Come on, let's go back. Let's go back this way. Slash. There we go. What debuff is this? Glory. Increased critical chance by 10% and damage. Oh, we got that already just now. that debuff is actually quite good for the our Catzilla guy maybe if he gets that glory badass man goodbye four stars nice Zilla just leveled up. So let's see whether he has that. Oh, he doesn't. Damn, it'd be nice if he has it. Crit chance plus passive. Oh, wait. Oh, this increases crit chance. Passive. Oh. So it means we should have 25 now, right? We have this? Oh yeah, it does. Nice. Okay, okay. There's another passive here. One, two. That's nice. Uh, let 
me see it's equipment. 10% chance damage. Uh, so this is the mana thing. But this will increase the mana, right? Uh, let's try. Let's remove this, put him out here. Pandora's box. Let me see what else is there. Crit chance plus 5. Let's go with that. Crit damage 20. It's fine. Uh, there's a mage. Healing skills. Sustain. Crit chance mana. I wonder which one's good. This magic. Maybe. You increase the shield? Maybe. Give it a go. Let's see. There we go. Look, we got it. Crit chance plus 10, crit damage plus 20. That's insane. That's, ma that's crazy, man. How do we... Wait. Check it out. Bam! Ooh! See that? That was boss. Right there. Ooh. Oh, we're looking at we're looking at a five star. We might get a five star here. Crit. Wow. You see that? Right there, man. I think this is a five star here, right here. Ooh, no really? No? That was a five star, man. Come on. Oh, yeah. I like it. Yes, yes. We got it. Okay. Uh, I think it's possible with this guy, maybe. Whee! Oh, that's close. Whee! Oh, come on. Come on. Really? Just a bit. Yeah. <laughs> Come on. Okay. Still. Can't do it. Might be that bird. Not this one here. What do we get? Regeneration. Okay. Crit. That was close. I think it's this bird that might actually let us get up there. Give us the egg. No egg. We need that egg for the bird. Where have we not gone? We haven't gone down here. Hopper. I get up there. Stronghold. Uh, 
Come on, give us that bird. Show up. Weak. We don't have enough uh, mana. <clears throat> Actually, I think he needs mana. <clears throat> Come on. Let's continue on to the stronghold. We have arrived back at the keeper's stronghold. The stronghold has served as a base of operations for the monster keepers for centuries. We should explore some other areas of the monster sanctuary next. The blue caves are located just below the stronghold. Before we head there, we should prepare ourselves and your monsters adequately. You can find merchants and blacksmiths in the stronghold to ensure that your monsters have the best food and best gear. If you ever feel lost or aren't sure where to go next, you can go to your menu and use the talk feature. The talk feature allows you to ask me about our current objectives. Nice. This is the monster, not monster. This is the keeper stronghold, home to all monster keepers. Welcome keeper aspirant. Tengu Dub Duba In the Keeper's Stronghold, monsters live alongside humans. We raise them to be our friends. A monster raised by a human would never attack a human. Okay. Usually, champion monsters are very rare, but recently we have seen in all regions of the sanctuary. Something there. Hello, fellow keeper. Are you aware how the execution part of the rating system is calculated? Execution is mainly based on how well you use your combo system. The first two monsters increase the rating if you manage to get a high combo count. The last monster increases the rating depending on how much damage is spell it deals relatively to enemy's health. Also, you get increased points if you exploit the enemy's weaknesses. Did you know that the buff and debuff rating only not only counts how many buff and debuffs you apply, it also grants additional points depending how often enemies took poison, burn, or congeal damage. My preferred strategy is to stay off defensive and let my debuffs do the job. Yeah, that's what we're doing, right? Hide. Plus one, nice. Utilizing the combo system properly is the key to getting a good rating in combat. Do you need a reminder of how it works? Sure. Each action you do in combat will increase the combo counter based on how often you hit your enemies or heal or buff your allies. This will increase the damage of the following attacks. The combo counter resets after each turn. So it makes sense to always try to act with weaker defensive and or assisting monsters first and use your high hit counts actions 
This will maximize your damage of your offensive monsters that act later. I think the most important thing as a monster keeper is finding the right diet for all your monsters. Right, there's nothing here. Let's check the right side of this stronghold. Something up there. Staff, crit chance plus seven. I think that is good for this guy. Defense. He actually doesn't need the offense, right? Right. Let's go. Who's this? Always think about having enough supplies. You never know what kind of dark times might be ahead of us. Blacksmith. Let's see what you got. Claws. Crit chance. Shuriken. Mana. Crit damage. Belt. Crit chance. Uh, shuriken. Let's see. Generation, we need that. Morning Star Defense, Defense and Attack. Yeah, we need that too. Basically, we're quite good. Let's have a look again. Laws. 40 and 12. Hey rookie, you got your first monster. Be careful, a lot of strong champion monsters were spotted recently. Just because of this humblers is unclear, but I'm determined to get the bottom of it. You are a rookie monster keeper, right? I'm a blacksmith of monster armor and weapons. I can upgrade equipment for you. I'll give you some materials to get started. Cotton, red gem, green gem, blue gem. Use those to upgrade some of your equipment. Oh, okay, nice. Crit chance plus one. Impact ring Defense Oh, interesting Mana regeneration Kunai Can we upgrade this? I think we should do it Yeah, I say go for it Kunai one Quite good. Sustain ring. Okay, let's just do that one. One help to strengthen the stronghold's monster army. 
You can donate eggs. You don't need to a stronghold. We will raise and train them. You get a compensatory reward for each egg you donate. Additionally, you will increase the monster's army strength in each egg you bring in. When a monster army reaches a certain strength, you receive special rewards. Oh, nice. Thank you. So this is what we got. Potato. Let's donate some more eggs. Can I have? Thank you for your efforts. Here are some rewards. Nice. Thank you. Okay, we opened that up already. Let's see what's here. This is the archives of the Keeper's Stronghold. Centuries of monsters. Century history is written down in these books. I like to read about all the different monsters. Sure. So do I. Oh, Grimmy. How are you getting along with the wilds by yourself? If you want to be a mon keeper monster, you know me and your father both are keeper rangers, so don't pressure yourself too much. Oh, who am I kidding? I know it's pointless to argue with you once you've set yourself a goal, and that's what makes us so proud of you. But never for get to keep your monsters healthy that's mom and this is dad hello daughter how are you doing in your endeavors as the monster keeper you want to reach the highest ranks of our order a good goal your grandfather became a monster dragoon and that's the second highest ranking in the order so we expect no less of you, ha ha ha. But never put yourself or your monster in unnecessary danger, you hear? Take this with you on your journeys. Quick chance, nice. Thank you. Let's see. Let's disconnect back. Yeah. Let's see what's down here. Who's this? This exit leads to the blue caves. Other keepers report they spotted some champion monsters down there. Okay, we're not gonna go there yet. Skill resetter. Cape. Crit chance and damage. Oh, that's nice. I like that. Quick chance and damage. Crit chance and damage. Damage ring. Let's go. Where else have we not gone? This is it. I think we should upgrade that cape. Let's see where's this halt this pass leads to the eastern parts of the sanctuary the stronghold dungeon and ancient woods the monsters in these parts are unruly beasts nothing like the blobs and rockies of the keepers of the trail come back once you've beaten the monster beaten three champion monsters and reach the rank of keeper novice okay so we can't go there yet We still haven't gotten that bird egg yet. Let's see what's up here. This is the keeper's tower behind me. Only true monster keepers are allowed to go inside. It's where all the stronger monster keepers go to train and fight each other. You can even fight against old champion monsters that you have defeated. I can't wait to be a monster. 
know exactly which monster I want to have on my team. Can we go? This is the monster tower. To access some of the rooms here, you need to reach a certain monster keep rank. Your current rank is... You need to defeat one more champion to ascend the novel. I don't think we're allowed to go here. You will need to have the... Uh-huh. Yep. We can't even jump up there. <laughs> Let's see what's over here. This is the champion challenge. You can fight previous defeated champions. Monsters here try to achieve a better score. If you set a new record, you will get rewards you might have missed out on when fighting the champions for the first time. Oh, okay. Nice. I like it. I like it that you can fight the previous monsters, champions, again. We have moved to the sanctuary only recently. It seems so exciting to live in a place like this. I even already caught my first monster. You just recently became a monster keeper, right? So how many monsters have you have already? Nice. Let's go upgrade this cape. Let's see if we have enough mats for it. Not sure. Crit damage. Red gem. There we go. I think where are we supposed to go? Down here. This exit leads to the blue caves. Right. Other keepers report they, they spotted some champion monsters down there. Alright guys. This will be it for episode 2 for Monster Sanctuary. We shall continue to the blue caves in the third episode. Thank you for watching. And if you're new, do subscribe and ring that bell notification. And I hope to catch you guys again. Thank you for watching. And I'll reap you.